Hello everyone, and today what I want to teach you is a kind of neat photo editing technique where you take two pictures and combine them, but in a way that one picture is kind of faded and blended into the other. So I have two pictures here that I'm going to use. I have a picture of a school here, and then I have a picture of its mascot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this mascot, and I'm going to kind of uh, blend it into the background up here. So it creates kind of a cool um, little blended effect. So I'm going to use Pixlr, and so all I have to do is copy this URL. So I can do the Control C or Command C. I come over to Pixlr. I'm going to say Open Image from URL, and paste that link in there. Now when it opens up, I have a picture of my school. Now I'm also going to come over and get a uh, its mascot. So I'll copy here. Come over to Pixlr again, and go File, Open Image URL, paste that link in, and now I have two pictures. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one, and I need to move it over to here. Now there's a lot of different ways you can do this. Um, this is actually pretty easy because luckily this picture actually has a transparent background, so I don't have to fuss with trying to get rid of the background or anything. So I'm just going to do Edit, Select All. So you can see I selected all this picture. I'm going to do edit copy. I'll come over to my school picture here. I'll do edit paste. And then I may have to resize a little bit. And I'm going to resize it because I just kind of want it up here in this top left corner. So making sure I'm clicked on the right layer. I'm going to go edit, free transform. Now I'm going to hold down the shift key so that it sizes it, uh, resizes everything proportionally. And I'll kind of stick it up this way. All right, I'll hit enter. So now what I want to do is I want to kind of uh, blend this mascot into the background. And that's something I can easily do by coming over here, and making sure I'm clicked on the correct layer. If I come down here, I can hit this little button. What I can do is I can change some of the layer settings. There's a word in here, you can see opacity. So if I take this, I can crank the opacity down a little bit. And what you'll notice is that the uh, logo kind of fades into the background. So you can make it really kind of blend in, or not so much. It kind of matters your subject and what you have on there, what kind of looks well. Now you can also try to use this mode down here. You can see there's different op uh, options in here but one of them is called Overlay. Sometimes you can kind of do Overlay and it kind of gets a cool effect there too. But once again, you know, sometimes you don't have as much control because Overlay is a, a predetermined setting. Here it's kind of cool, but it blends in a little too much over here for my liking. So I'm, well, let's try Screen. Oh, too much. But you can try these different modes to see if there's something in there that works really well. I'm just going to use it normal and I'll just kind of do it by hand here. So it's a really kind of cool effect where you can kind of take two pictures and blend them together uh, to make a cool look. So thanks for watching and have a great day.